Uh, Formula One is, in a way, um, all about rule changes. It's about adapting and it's about doing the best you can and pushing everything to the limit with new regulation changes. Uh, so it's nothing new to the sport. Um, I think that these changes possibly are the biggest we have for a little while. Uh, but, you know, I think it's exciting for everyone. You know, we're all very excited here at, at MTC uh, to really get the best out of the new rule changes. You know, I think Formula One in 2014 is it's going to be about speed. It always is. You know, it's about trying to be the fastest car out there. But I think it brings back what it has been in previous decades of, of being the most reliable team also um, and the most consistent team. Uh, the biggest challenge, I think, uh, for, for everyone, every um, engine manufacturer and, uh, and every team is probably the reliability. You know, I think the, the test, the first test, especially in, in Hareth, is very, very important. Uh, there'll be a lot of downtime, but um, it's, it's, really, um, it's really mostly dyno work, but on the circuit. You know, we're going to be running through a lot of programs and really trying to understand understand the power unit because I think it's something that we're all trying very hard to understand but there's so much more scope really to, to really uh, improve um, the power unit uh, and as I said to really understand it so we can go racing and be confident uh, that, that we can get to the end of the race to start with. Uh, we're always working hard on aerodynamics. Uh, I think for us having a car mechanically and, and aerodynamically that's strong at the first race is important but I think we, we've got to be a little bit careful not to push it in one direction too much. I think every team will probably be thinking the same. We need a good base, we need something that we can work with and something that can, can, can give us the speed for results um, but also means that we can give time to reliability and, uh, and really developing uh, the power unit. Formula One, yeah, it's it's always pretty intense, and uh, there's definitely been no let up for anyone this winter on getting themselves ready for for the first race. Uh, I don't think there's any team that's found this into this this winter easy. Um, we really don't know where we will stand at the first race compared to others, but we know that we are heads down doing the best job we possibly can. Uh, there's going to be a lot of development this year, and I think. Um, I think being with a team like McLaren will be very important because, uh, you know, us here we've, we we are good at developing. Uh, I think you'll see that in previous years. Sometimes you get a little bit wrong, but most of the time they're very good. So uh, it's going to be a development race through the season, uh, along with trying to get a handle on the reliabilities of the, you know reliability of the car. Um, the V6 turbo. Everyone. It's talking about how the engine is going to sound compared to a V8. You know, it won't sound the same, you know, of course not. But uh, from what I've heard, it still sounds pretty good. Uh, it's a real mix in sounds because obviously you have the turbo and, and what have you, so it's quite an unusual sound. Uh, but I, I like it. I think it sounds good. And, you know, it's not important for me to like the sound, really. You know, it's important for me to have a car that I can win with. Uh, but for the fans, I think it's still, it's still going to sound good. And... Um, the racing on circuit this year, I think, is going to be better than ever. I really do. Um, now the rest of the season. I've only seen Kevin a couple of times since, obviously, he was uh, announced uh, to be a race driver here. Um, but um, I think he's got his head screwed on. You know, I think uh, he's he's done very well in lower categories. Obviously, that doesn't mean everything in this sport. But um, from his test that he's, he's already done in an F1 car last year, the young driver test, he, he obviously drove very well. He was quick. Uh, and from what I've heard, his feedback was very good. And that is something that is key in motorsport at the moment, especially at the pinnacle in, in, in Formula One. You know, we can all drive quick. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's the feedback that we give and, and what's really going to drive the development of this, this car, especially this year. So. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to working with him, but we haven't really spent a lot of time together. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll soon. How do you think your experience been? Uh, I mean, you're asking the wrong person, but uh, I think uh, I think 
obviously being the more experienced driver, yes, you know, the, the younger, less experienced driver will learn from you and as he should, you know, because I've got so much experience in, in this sport. You know, he also brings something as well. You know, he's he's coming into a sport, he's fresh, he, he's not so experienced of, of the Formula One world. And I was that kid 13 years ago. So, you know, I'm sure I've lost something over the years that would be nice to get back. So uh, I'll be able to see that in Kevin, definitely. But um, yeah, I have a lot of experience, but this is a completely new year in terms of the way the car's gonna feel. But with my experience, I know what I can do with the car to develop it and, and to put it somewhere where it feels comfortable for me. So, um, you know, hopefully it does work well, you know, with an interesting partnership of the, you know, the youth and slightly inexperienced, but obviously drive to do well. He seems like a good character that will learn. And me, strangely, one of the uh, oldest drivers in Formula One. So go back to 23? Yeah, 22 is a, a good number for me. Uh, it was in 2009, anyway, that's what I won the World Championship with um, before I came to McLaren. It's also the number that um, McLaren last won the World Championship with in 2008 with Lewis. So it's, um, yeah, it's been a good number um, for us in the past. At the end of the day, it's a number. Um, it doesn't mean anything. The only one that means something is number one. So. Uh, it's nice to have your own identity, though, and uh, in a number, and I think that that's nice for us as drivers. Um, last question. Yeah, I, this team under Ron has, have, you know, has won multiple world championships, back to uh, the days of Ayrton and Alain uh, and before. So um, there's so much history of, of, of Ron and this team, and you know he's a true racer, he's a true fighter, and he, ha he really has built this team up over the years. So. I think uh, it's good for the team, it's good for Ron that he uh, has the chance to really drive this team on again uh, and I think that uh, everyone here is, is excited about the, the Challenger two, 2014 with, uh, with Ron in charge. Very good.